What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at side-by-side -side training of Demetrius Johnson and Rod Tang as they prepare for their upcoming super fight with mixed rules. We're talking Muay Thai and MMA. Once we've looked at the training footage, I'm going to jump back on and I'm going to talk to you guys about how I see this crazy fight playing out. <laughs> Alright guys, let's talk about this fight. Let's talk about, first of all, the rule set, and then we're going to move on and talk about how I see everything playing out. Who's going to win this fight? It's really such a unique fight, jumping between rule sets and with two guys who have never fought in the other style, that coming to a conclusion, who's going to win, is just very interesting, and I'm looking forward to talking with you guys about it. But first, I want to introduce to you the newest partner of the channel, Ridge Wallets. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, pretty much since the time I was 16, I've only been carrying around my cards. That's it, I don't have a wallet. I have not had a wallet. Why? I hate bulk. I hate bulk in my pocket. If I wanna walk around in some nice small shorts, I don't want this big bulky wallet in my pocket. I want my cards in my pocket, so I can zip it up and head out on a run and not feel everything clunking around. And until this point, I haven't had anything I wanted to use, but now I do. I can take my five cards and simply slide it into the wallet, super easy. I can take my cash, just fold it up and stick it on the back of the wallet. And now I have everything that I want in a wallet and it fits right into my pocket. I can zip it up, I can go running and I don't have a crazy amount of bulk. And that's all I wanted out of the wallet. Now, if you guys are interested in picking up a Ridge wallet, you can go down to the description below. You can click the link. You're gonna get yourself 15% off if you use the code Gabriel Varga. And I'm just super pumped about this new product, this new wallet, and actually feeling a bit more like a grown up because like I said, I have not had a wallet since I was a little kid. So I'm moving up in the world. Now guys, let's get back to talking about Rod Tang versus Demetrius Johnson. Now let's first talk about the rule set. What are we dealing with here when we have Rod Tang, who is a Muay Thai fighter, and we have Demetrius Johnson, who is an MMA fighter? Now, what usually happens when we have two athletes from different disciplines meet, generally, 
one discipline is the rule set for the whole night. And that always creates a lot of controversy because one person is at a distinct disadvantage. But what 1FC has done for this upcoming fight, which takes place on March 26th, is they are moving from first round Muay Thai to second round MMA, back to Muay Thai for the third round and finishing with a fourth round of mixed martial arts. Each round will be four minutes. So it's right in between that three minute Muay Thai round and the five minute MMA round. And these guys are gonna be able to see whose skill set will be dominant. Now, giving Rod Tang, who is the Muay Thai fighter, the first round to try and knock out Demetrius Johnson before they get to the MMA is a distinct advantage for him. But the thing is, Demetrius Johnson is no slouch on his feet. He's not somebody who can only head into the cage and he has to shoot for people and he has to get them to the ground to win. He can knock people out. But can he knock Rod Tang out? That is going to be the big question. Do I believe that Rod Tang can knock Demetrius Johnson out? I believe he can. But I think Demetrius Johnson will be very elusive, very evasive in the first round, hoping to get to that second round. When we get to the second round, if that happens, I don't see it getting out of the second. I feel like Demetrius Johnson's takedown and his submission skill set will be a nightmare for Rod Tang, something that he cannot overcome with a short period of training on the ground. And I'm speaking from experience because I have tried MMA, I've had two fights, both of which were very short training camps. We're talking like 10 weeks to get ready for a fight. And then I went back to kickboxing training. And then again, I had about 10 weeks to prep up. So trying to learn everything, especially when you're going up against a former UFC champion, one of the best guys of all time, I just don't see Rod Tang being prepared for that round. So basically he has to knock out Demetrius Johnson in the first four minutes. Now, he has those little four ounce MMA gloves and I just honestly do not see Demetrius Johnson putting Rod Tang out. Nobody else has been able to do it. The guy is a little tank. So what's gonna have to happen is does Rod Tang have the skill set to knock out Demetrius Johnson? Can he corner him? Can he make it happen? Somebody put a gun to my head and they said, you need to choose a winner. I would go, I'm gonna put my money on Demetrius Johnson. I think he's just a little bit too smart, a little bit too evasive to go in and bang with Rod Tang in the first round. Of course, Rod Tang wants that to happen, but I don't see Demetrius Johnson letting it happen. If he does KO Demetrius Johnson and Rod Tang wins in the first round, I will not be surprised. But at the same time, I think it's more likely to see DJ get out of that first round and win by submission in the second. That is my personal opinion. What I really want to know is what do you guys think? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below who is gonna get this victory and how it's gonna happen. That is the very interesting part because normally I just go, this guy's gonna win or this guy's gonna win. But in this instance, with this mixed rule set, you really need to dial in how it's gonna happen and why it's gonna happen. And for me, I'm gonna go, DJ by submission in the second round. But the thing that's so exciting about this fight is I could be 100% wrong. It could go so many other ways. And it's just the reason that I am so pumped, not just for this one fight, but for this entire card, which just has so many exciting fights. One of which I already talked about, you can check it out there, side-by-side -side training of Superbon, trying to avenge his KO loss and to protect his belt from Marat Gregorian. Very, very exciting card. I hope you guys make time to watch this. It is the super card of all super cards that I've ever seen, that I've ever been so excited to watch. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you take time to put your comment down below. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. If you have not already, make sure you go down and check out Ridge Wallets. See if there's something you're interested in. I am super pumped about this product and I hope you guys take the time to just give their website a look. If you guys have not already, join the channel, get subscribed, give me that little bump up to 100,000. We are almost there. After a couple of years of having this channel, getting past that 100,000 subscriber mark is gonna be amazing. Guys, train hard and I'll see you back here soon for another video.